Hello friends! It is finally October. This month and this season always feels like a precious fleeting gift. But when it's here, there aren't words to describe it. It truly is like magic. And because of that, I always try to focus on romanticizing autumn to the max. So today I want to share ways that I have been romanticizing autumn, activities, things that you can do to help you fully embrace the beauty that is autumn. I also have some tips for those of you who live in warmer climates where the seasons don't change. I used to live in Hawaii and it was definitely a bit of a struggle but it's not impossible. So let's just get started. One of my favorite ways to romanticize any sort of season is to dress according to that season. So you can wear pattern or autumnal sweaters. Today I'm wearing this one with a cat and a pumpkin on it. You can't tell me that wearing a sweater with pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns or witches or like bookish merch like a Harry Potter sweatshirt doesn't make you feel autumnal. I really love patterned sweaters as well. They're perfect if you're going out for an evening at a pumpkin patch or a haunted house. Putting on different outfits can make you feel different ways. Obviously, if you're in your pajamas or sweats, you might be inclined to feel a bit more like a couch potato. If you're very dressed up to go out, you might feel a bit more confident, ready to have fun. Dressing autumnal, dressing cozy with spooky sweatshirts or patterns, it can really just put you more in the mood for autumn. If you live somewhere where it's too hot to wear sweaters, you can wear autumnal colors like burnt orange, mustard yellow, lots of creams and almond colors. But if you do live somewhere that has AC, you can at least turn on the AC in your home to put on a cozy sweater so that at least while you're home, you can feel that way. I just realized I'm going to say autumnal way too much in this video. I apologize in advance. Another thing that I like to do, and this is great if you live in a warm climate, is you can put on ASMR rooms or ambiance videos on YouTube. There are so many to choose from. You can choose a farmhouse like Anna Green Gables with leaves falling outside or a cafe. Or if you wanna go spooky, you can choose a spooky haunted manor one. And they're perfect to put on while you're reading or doing homework or something like that. I also like to put them on my TV so that it's a bigger screen. But if I'm in my room, I'll just have it on my laptop. And it's really nice because a lot of them have sounds in the background like leaves leaves falling or wind. And then one of my favorite things to do in the morning is watch Gilmore Girls or Scooby-Doo while I eat breakfast. Recently, I've been loving these pumpkin waffles. I got this pumpkin pancake and waffle mix from Trader Joe's and it is so good. And I use my little pumpkin waffle maker to make these mini pumpkin pancake waffle things. I could just make normal waffles that taste pumpkin-y and like that would be enough. But being me, I just have to be extra and making them into little pumpkins makes me so happy. So I'll make those, maybe put on some pumpkin cream cheese or some maple butter and some cinnamon. Very unhealthy, but they make me happy, so we don't care about that right now. So then I will go sit down on the sofa and turn on some Gilmore Girls or Scooby-Doo, depending on my mood, and it's just such a great way to start the day. Another thing that I love to do is listen to a fall playlist while I go on walks through fall foliage. The leaves are falling down and I can feel them crunching underneath my feet. Adding in music just completes the experience. Something really simple you can do is to light fall scented candles around your home. That way your house can smell like autumn. I have specific scents for my different rooms. My bedroom has candles that smell more like dark academia, book pages, libraries, damp ink, leather bound books. 
that's kind of the scent that I focus on for my bedroom. And then the living room has all of the very cozy fall scents like pumpkin donuts, I have vanilla pumpkin, and I think like marshmallow bonfire. I have so many out in the living room that are just very cozy and sweet. And then in my kitchen, that's more like practical magic themed, I have some mystic autumn mythology candles out there. I would say they smell very witchy, but <laughs> I don't really know how to describe like witchy. It makes me think of being in a cafe or a library with like incense and food kind of mixed together. I don't, I'm not describing it well, that doesn't really make sense. But I like having my room scented differently to match kind of the vibe in the room. And I know that not all countries have like a plethora of scented candles, but just getting one pumpkin candle or any sort of cozy scent and putting it in your home can really make it feel just that much more autumnal. Something I did this year was to make a paper chain from the first day of October to the end of October with a different activity so that I can enjoy the time leading up to Halloween as well as the big event of Halloween itself. So I made this paper chain and I put it up on Patreon if you're interested and it has more simple activities to do during the weekdays and then on the weekends it has the bigger more time consuming activities like going to an apple orchard or binge watching scary movies. So you could just grab some paper and write down all of the activities or things that you want to do during October and I think it's a great way to help you do those things as well as help you feel autumnal every single day. Before we can Continue. This video is sponsored, so to talk to you more about that is Sponsored Ezzy. So you guys know that I have been a lot more open with my mental health journey, specifically my struggle with anxiety. That's a huge part of why I try to romanticize life and enjoy small moments that make me happy. So that's why I wanted to partner with BetterHelp for this video. BetterHelp is a personal counseling service that will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. It's super easy to get started. You will fill out a brief questionnaire type assessment about your history and your needs and what you're looking to get help with. And then you are matched with a therapist and you can start communicating with your therapist within 48 hours, which is really, really helpful if you're struggling and just really need to talk. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counselor network. I remember considering therapy for the first time and I was so nervous that I would have to see someone that wouldn't understand me well. But BetterHelp is so good at matching you with a therapist. But if you decide they aren't a good fit, BetterHelp makes it really easy to switch therapists if you so desire, which I really appreciate. BetterHelp is available to clients worldwide and you can log into your account anytime to send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, so you won't ever have to go and sit in the waiting room like you would with traditional therapy. It's even better because I can attend my therapy sessions in my pajamas if I want to. As an introvert, not having to leave the house is a huge plus. Plus, BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional counseling and they do offer financial aid options. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so visit betterhelp.com slash Desi. That's betterhelp.com slash Desi. And join the over one million people taking charge of their mental health by getting help from a licensed professional. And I have a special offer for viewers of my channel. You get 10% off your first month. So visit betterhelp.com slash Desi and make your mental health a priority this season, guys. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. All right, let's continue. Next on my list is to try an autumnal tea or warm drink. One of my personal favorites is the Harvest Tea. I don't remember the exact name. I think it's called the Autumn Harvest Tea from Trader Joe's. It's like an autumn dream in a cup. It has all the spices like cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg. So you can pick up some new tea to make at home or go to Starbucks or a coffee shop. It's autumn self-care. Another thing I like to do is if you're going to write any sort of to-do list, write it with a quill ink pen. There's just something about writing it like that that feels so fancy always makes me feel like I'm taking notes at Hogwarts. It's a way to romanticize your life and this season in a very small way, but a way that still does make an impact. I think, I really like doing it. This next one is more of an activity that you would wanna do maybe on a weekend. That would be to get a fall themed drink and then go pick up a new spooky or cozy book from a bookstore or a library and then go read that book outside, bundled up in a jacket, maybe with a blanket. If you live somewhere warm, you can always go home or read it at the bookstore at the library with the AC on and then maybe bring a jacket or sweater that you can wear while reading it. The combination of fall drink plus bookstore is one of the best combos for fall.
Something else that really helps me feel the fall spirit is going to an apple orchard. I love to pick fresh honey crisp apples. They're my favorite. One of my local apple orchards also has these apple cider slushies that you can get with caramel ice cream. They are heavenly. They are heaven in a cup. They also have the cutest shop that feels like a mix between Gilmore Girls, Practical Magic, and Hobbiton with a little dash of over the garden wall. They have the cutest jars of honey and jam, teas and apple ciders. So many treats and goodies that I love to get and bring home. And then one of my favorite ways to end a day is to watch a new spooky movie. Maybe not new like it recently was released, but new to you. For example, I had put off watching Scream for years because I'm not a fan of horror movies. But after being told that it's a slasher film, it's gory, but it's not like horror, I was like, okay, I'll watch it. It was me and Jared and my sister. I was in university and we were staying at my parents' house and they were out of town. It was night and it was really spooky and scary outside. So I just decided to muster up the courage and suggest that we watch a scary movie. So we watched Scream. And although I did spend half the movie kind of hidden behind the pillow, I still really enjoyed it. So be brave and try watching a new spooky movie or maybe one that has been on your list for a while that you haven't made time to watch. It's the perfect way to just end your day during fall. Something else really simply you can do if you do live somewhere with cooler weather is to open the windows in the morning and just feel the crisp air on your skin while you drink some warm tea or coffee. I also love sleeping with the AC a bit cooler so that when I wake up, it's really crisp outside my bed. I wanna wrap a blanket around myself in my nightgown and just go make some tea. Autumn is the only time when I've over romanticized being cold. Another really fun thing to do is go to Trader Joe's if you live near one and try some of their new fall products and items. They have so many. So for this video, I went to Trader Joe's and picked up as many fall items as I could find. So now I'm gonna do a little taste test and rating so that if you live near Trader Joe's and you want to go get a fall item but you don't know which ones are worth it, I will taste test them all for you so that you don't have to. <laughs> because it's so chilly outside, I think I'm gonna get started with the teas. Let's just start with her. It's just so elegant. I love the colors, I love everything. Hopefully it tastes good. It smells very spicy. Ooh, that is so nice. I really like that. It's like the perfect blend of pumpkin and spices. Eight and a half out of 10 for me. Next up is the Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. I also love the decoration on this one. It has a cute little fox drinking tea. Mmm, that's a lot sweeter and a bit more fruity. There's something about the other one that I like slightly more. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Moving on to snacks, I was so excited because I love anything with granola and dark chocolate and this is pumpkin spice granola bark. I'm not getting any pumpkin spice flavor at all. For a fall product, I give this one out of 10, but I love it. So it's a 10 out of 10 for me, but it just, it doesn't taste pumpkin-y at all. But I love the dark chocolate, it's so good. The JoJo's are not new for me. This is one product out of most of these that I have already tried. Mm, these are so good. If you're trying to decide between the black JoJo's and the pumpkin flavored JoJo's, these are a 10 out of 10, and I really don't enjoy the black ones that much, so I highly recommend these ones. Okay, the Petite Pumpkin Spice Cookies. They are shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. They smell so good. Mmm, those are so good. They're not too sweet. My only complaint is that I'm not a huge fan of the sprinkles on top. So because of that, these are gonna be a 9.5 out of 10. Mmm, so good. Next up is the pumpkin spice batons. Am I saying that correctly? Delicate rolled wafers filled with pumpkin spice. Doesn't look like there's a ton of filling. Just like with the granola, I do not taste any pumpkin spice. If anything, it just tastes like vanilla and it's really, really sweet. Like two out of 10. Okay, then we've got the pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels. Oh, that smells so pumpkin-y. They basically taste just like the pumpkin flavored JoJo's, but a little bit more salty because they're pretzels, but like literally the exact same flavor. Seven out of 10. And then we've got the pumpkin waffles. I heard good things about these on TikTok, so I have very high expectations. I'll also be pairing the waffles with the Trader Joe's organic maple butter. It's basically just whipped maple syrup. Okay. That is so good. The maple butter is the star 
Oh my gosh, it tastes just like maple syrup, but there's something about the creaminess of it being whipped like this. I need to go buy more of these. Maple butter gets a 10 out of 10 and I give a nine to the waffles. I'm not usually a fan of frozen waffles, but if I'm going to get them, I'm gonna get these ones. Up next, we've got the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. There were not a ton of these left at my Trader Joe's, which leads me to believe they're popular and people enjoy it. So since it's pumpkin pancake mix, I decided to make some pumpkin waffles with my mini waffle maker. All right, so let's give these a taste. That's really good. Has a really nice fresh pumpkin flavor and it's not too sweet. I love these. I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I know why most of them are sold out now. All right, next up is the Trader Joe's cinnamon bun spread. And I heard that you can just put this on anything and it kind of just tastes like the inside of a cinnamon roll. So I just made some toast and spread some on top. Um, I, I could have put like some butter and cinnamon or cream cheese with it too, but I just wanted to taste it by itself. So let's give it a go. Oh my gosh, that is really sweet, but so good. I can really taste the honey base. Mm -hmm. Nine out of 10. Okay, next I'm going to combine three items. The pumpkin cream cheese spread, which I've heard very, very good things about. Trader Joe's pumpkin butter and the pumpkin brioche. I saw a recipe on Trader Joe's food reviews on TikTok where they made French toast and they stuffed the French toast with the cream cheese and the pumpkin butter. So I'm going to quickly whip this up. This is actually kind of hard to do, but I'm really excited to see how it tastes. It looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh, that is restaurant worthy. I think my favorite part of it is the pumpkin cream cheese. This is so good. 10 out of 10 for the cream cheese, seven out of 10 for the brioche. It doesn't really taste too pumpkin-y and seven out of 10 for the pumpkin butter. Okay, next we've got the fall harvest salsa and the Trader Joe's fall leaf corn tortilla chips. Mm. To be honest, that looks like throw up, but I'm gonna stay optimistic. Smells spicy. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It says the first ingredient is pumpkin, but to me this just tastes like normal salsa. For it being a fall item, I would give it like a two out of 10. For regular salsa, maybe like a four or five. But I give the leaves a 10 because I love the shapes. They're so cute. Okay, next we've got the maple flavored sea salt kettle corn. I love the packaging. I love Trader Joe's fall packaging. They always go all out. Mmm, smells a bit mapley. To me, that just tastes like regular kettle corn. For it being a fall item, I, I don't even rate it. It doesn't even taste like fall at all, but regular kettle corn, maybe like a five or a six. Now let's try the Ghost and Bass Crispy Potato Snack. They look like they just taste like air. They're little ghosties. Oh, I thought it was gonna be softer. One out of... One out of 10. Just tastes like a fried potato that hasn't really been seasoned with anything. Mm -mm. Next is the spiced cider. I usually prefer cider from local farms. I really like fresh cider, so I don't have very high expectations for this one. Kind of just tastes like cinnamon apple juice. Three out of 10, maybe four. I'm being too critical. I'm really interested to try this next one. It is this creamy Toscano cheese dusted with cinnamon. I have never had cinnamon cheese before. Oh, it smells so delicious. I do appreciate a good cheese. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I wanna eat this with some Honeycrisp apples. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> that is so good, 10 out of 10. Okay, next we've got the Spooky Bats and Cats Sour Gummy Candies. I love Trader Joe's gummies, they're always so good. Okay, let's try this one. Tastes like an orange gummy. I'm gonna try a green one. I hope it's apple and not lime. Apple. I'm gonna give these an eight and a half out of 10. And to end this little taste testing, I'm going to try the pumpkin ice cream. It says that this is basically supposed to taste like pumpkin pie filling. I'm just gonna dig in. How do they do that? That really tastes just like pumpkin pie filling. This is so good. Mmm. Uh, seven and a half, eight out of 10. That was fun. I've never done a taste testing before. Yeah, now I'm gonna go eat more of this cheese. Along with eating fall foods, another thing that you can do is to add cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice to a dish that you make. That could be like oatmeal or pancakes or apples. One of my favorite snacks is cutting up a Honeycrisp apple and putting cinnamon on it and then dipping it in some caramel. 
so good. It's a simple way to add autumn to your life by adding it to a meal. This next one is something I think you can do pretty much anywhere, and that is to bundle up and go for a stroll in a cemetery during sunset. Of course, be respectful, don't walk on the graves. If you live somewhere with warmer weather, then you would just minus the bundling up part. Put in your headphones, sip your cozy drink, being surrounded by dead people. I mean, what else do you want during autumn? Something you can do every day is to wear cozy socks. I have some Harry Potter socks and some pumpkin socks. I think socks are highly underrated. Everybody wants to buy cozy sweaters, but I think cozy socks should be up there as well. Plus my feet are always cold. I either always have on socks or my slippers. Something else that I love to do throughout my day is just have Gilmore Girls on in the background or nostalgic Halloween movies. Very nostalgic ones like Halloween Town, Adam's Family, Grey Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Scooby-Doo. You can have them on in the background while you're doing homework or making breakfast. This. Another good one and classic is Twilight and they're all on Netflix right now. So you can just have the Twilight series playing all day on your TV. Peak autumn vibes. Another tip is to fill your home with pumpkins or autumnal colors. This is also good if you live somewhere that's warmer. When we lived in Hawaii, I filled our place with everything orange, mustard, green, black, white. We got pumpkins from the grocery store and put them all over the house. And it really did feel like it was Halloween, like it was autumn, even though it felt like summer outside. Something else you can do is paint your nails an autumnal color. Right now I have this like burnt reddish orange color, or you could even go get them done and get some really cute designs like some leaves or ghosties. I think that's a great self-care way to romanticize the season. And then this is kind of basic and obvious, but read autumnal books, read spooky books, read cozy books, read gothic mysteries and classics like Northanger Abbey or the Goosebump books. For any of you who don't read middle grade books because they're not adult or YA and you think they're kids books so they're not gonna be scary, have you ever read Coraline? because that book is very creepy and scary. I was actually talking to a bookseller at Barnes & Noble the other day. I was checking out with the book and I mentioned how I had read part of it and I was surprised how scary it was for middle grade. And he was like, yeah, I will stay up all night reading, like scared in my bed, reading a middle grade book, like more often than I will with an adult book. And I felt like he just totally understood what I was saying. Middle grade books are scary. For example, this one, Scritch Scratch by Lindsay Curie. I swear you have to read this one with the lights on. And lastly, this one is also kind of basic, but you might not think of it, and that is to change the wallpaper on your phone. I looked down at mine the other day and realized that I still had spring flowers on it, and I changed it to this one. It's a bunch of vintage books, feels very like dark academia. Now I'm reminded that it's fall every time I look at my phone. You can find really good ones on Pinterest. I personally searched for dark academia iPhone wallpaper. You can search for cozy, nostalgic fall leaves or anything that you like, and you should be able to find a lot of options. And I think that's everything. Those are all of my my tips for romanticizing autumn. I would love to hear in the comments though, things that you're doing or are looking forward to doing to romanticize autumn. We can all get ideas from each other and I'm definitely going to be adding to my list throughout the month as well. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope you have a wonderful October and thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and I will see you soon with my next video. Bye friends.